Okay, so we're doing the, uh, well, it's not really a Starbucks run. I've sort of given up on Starbucks runs this trip because I've been going to bed so early in the morning at like six o'clock or something that uh, I haven't been getting up early enough to have one. So uh, they will return when Suzanne returns with me in August because she will throw me out of bed to go and get her one. So um, for now, we will just call it the free play run uh, because I had, I put a hundred of my own money in. I had a hundred dollar free play for today. I got a hundred dollars a day, as I mentioned before. Plus I had 36 in point play. So in effect, I've got 136 in free play. I thought I'd fire at this uh, with $5 at a $1 denomination. We got the Holden spin. Still dreaming in the mine at 1250. Here we go. One of these days it'll happen. Come on, baby. Still buzzing from uh, the group call last night. I really am. Uh, that was truly, truly epic. I was just watching the video back 10 minutes ago. Just couldn't believe it. Final spin. Come on, keep me in it. Keep me in it. Keep me in it. Yes. Yes. Awesome stuff. So this looks like it's going to be a successful conversion, which actually is pretty rare for me in recent trips. I always think free play really, you're just trying to get as much out as you can. I'm not going to go chasing playing my own money. Uh, today I'm heading down to downtown Henderson. There's three casinos down there um, that I quite fancy visiting for a change. So we're going to have a hundred in each. It's 115 bucks, that's not bad at all. So I'll give it a little bit more, but I'm not probably down to 250 and then cash out with 150 profit. Well, remarkably, we got it again. Only got down to 314 from the figure you saw a second ago. Nothing big there, but it's all, it all helps. So currently, uh, <laughs> I stomped into Plaza yesterday. We won four grand hand pay with the first spin. I then won on uh, Walking Dead, and now I'm winning on the free play. <laughs> so <laughs> they'll be uh, throwing me out of my room soon. <laughs> Final spin, come on, keep it in it. Keep me in it. That's okay. That's why I like playing five dollars at the dollar denomination. It's no messing around. You know exactly where you are. Okay, we'll play a little bit more. Down to three fifty, I think. Well, incredibly, we got the pot bonus now at three hundred and eighty-six. <laughs> uh, sorry for all you people that don't like Dragon Link, but uh, this is why we play it. Here we go. Yeah, that's nothing much. Bit of a block of that pot there in the middle. Come on, just give me one hold and spin. Yes! <laughs> I'm owning this this morning, I really am. This is amazing. Come on, just give me a nice chunky number, come on. But all the small numbers are adding up this morning, they really are. Fantastic. The grand is 10,241.96. Not today. But to get this off, $100 in free play and 36 in point play, it's rather good. Put it mildly. Oh, I'm still in the bonus, aren't I? Oh god, I almost forgot that again. <laughs> I was going to turn the camera off. I'm not even having a drink yet today. Come on, bots! Oh. Yeah, it finished. Oh, 
Anyway, 528.05, so that's 428 profit there. Uh, I'm going to play it down to five and definitely cash out and head to downtown Henderson. So here we are in downtown uh, Henderson. I love little trips like this. You really can't beat it. Just get out of the center of the strip and downtown and just take in some locals places. So thanks to Hog and Two Cent for, well, basically making me aware of these places. <laughs> They're on uh, South Water Street. The first one is called The Pass. And it seems to have a tie-in with Circus Sports because it has that logo on the side of the building. And then opposite there is the Rainbow Club. And then round the back down Market, I think it is, is the bigger of the three, which is Emerald Island. But we're gonna start in the pass. I'm gonna have 100 in each. Let's see if we can uh, win anything. In theory, the slot odds should be better. I'm hoping there might be some old school games I've not seen in a while. That would be very exciting. So let's take a look in these places. Into the pass we go. Okay, so this place has a very uh, old school vibe, but actually the machines in here are yeah, pretty modern. We've got all the latest games, really. Uh, I couldn't find anything, I've had a walk around already, I couldn't really find anything old school that sort of uh, you can't find downtown or on the strip. There's a lot of older, pe older people in here, clearly all locals. You wouldn't get any uh, vloggers here other than <laughs> me and Hog and Two Cent. And it's quite small, but it's got a, you know, a fun vibe to it. When I say quite small, I mean this is huge in comparison to UK casinos, of course. Um, I just quite like that sort of stage area, like a really small stage for performers and stuff at the weekend, no doubt. So yes, we're going to uh, try and find a game I've not played yet this week. Um, which might be difficult, actually, but because uh, it is all sort of links and um, everything else, but we will see. And actually, the Circa Sports tie up they've uh, the sports book is circus sports here which is interesting just got to be a bit careful with uh, throwing the camera around but it's over in the corner over mm -hmm. here they've got bars on every corner pretty much so yeah circus sports over there in the corner okay so let's uh, find a slot okay so uh, we got a bonus in the pass Buffalo Rush. Now I've never, ever, ever heard of this version, which is why I played it. It's not, actually not anything that old in here. It's all the modern games. Uh, so this is a, a real game as opposed to computer screen. I'm playing uh, 240 a bet. Got down a 24.16 from my 100. Here we go. So oh, I've got a spin at the top there. Major 533, Grand 10,176. I bought my, uh, I did bring my passport just in case. <laughs> right, one randomly awarded on each spin. That's probably the worst you can get, I'm assuming. Oh, I see they're dropping down there. It's not really helping me. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh yes, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Come on. Another one. Oh, that's a shame. One at the end there would have been lovely. Times three. Come on, times three. All right, times two. So how much is that? You've got the, you've got the extra one at the top there. This is a bit like Stampede really, isn't it? Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is a decent win. Well, I guess there's other, other wins as well. Hang on. Hang on. That's 180 bucks right there. Oh my word. <laughs> it's happening again. Come on. Oh my god, we got... Come on, if we can get one at the end there. Get one at the end there! Oh! <laughs> well, 
Well, what a run I'm on at the moment today. 210 bucks. You gotta love the pass, haven't you? What a property. <laughs> Wow. That's absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll finish my beer. I've got a Budweiser here, which was uh, $4. There was, there was no waitresses around. Actually, no, it might have been $4.50. It'd be interesting to see if that's the standard for all the other properties uh, down here. But the um, fact of the matter is, I'm going to be a winner. <laughs> today in downtown Henderson regardless of what happens after this that's pretty good isn't it okay so we're leaving the pass uh, 140 bucks up it's pretty damn good isn't it and into rainbow I bet that looks much better at night than it does in the day that sign <laughs> it's very very quiet around here I mean it, you can literally hear a pin drop in all of these casinos <laughs> Into Rainbow we go. So I'm eating in the uh, Triple B's burger place in the Rainbow, and I've got uh, the burger of the week, uh, which is a hog burger. It looks absolutely delicious for eight ninety nine. Can't go wrong, can you really? And a Diet Coke. Uh, sadly, I can't do a walk through this place. They are hot as hell on cameras. And it's quite small, but it's really, really um, vibey and busy here. Uh, and they even have, would you believe it, a Monday gift event for obviously players' cards. I'll, I'll put the photo of the table on the screen now. I mean, it's just so sweet. It's, I, I love it, absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this, uh, find a slot, and then I will meet you outside to go to the final casino. Okay, so I wanted to play a really old school game in here. They do have quite a few actually uh, of this type of sort of uh, setup. So I'll put 100 in again, down to 65, and I've got the basically the trash bonus on, sorry, trash for cash bonus on Stinking Rich. This is a game I used to play years ago, years and years ago. Um, so I've got to pick a trash can uh, to replace a value with a multiplier, okay? Here we go. Three times, okay? What's that? Okay, fine, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay. Oh, is that the is that is that it? Is that literally the bonus? Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought there was something more to it than that. I've forgotten about this game really. But it's, I just love the, the fact these old school games are still going, you know. I'm up a dollar. Maybe I'll find something a little bit uh, more modern. See if I can win something off uh, this hundred. So I'm leaving uh, the Rainbow Club. Now that burger in uh, Triple B's was absolutely delicious. Uh, it was basically a pulled pork thing, but it was the coleslaw was lovely. It was absolutely lovely, and it basically cost me with the drink eleven dollars ninety. <laughs> It's a pity I couldn't film in there. I mean, they had staff everywhere. I, I, you couldn't move for um, slot attendants or... I mean, it, it puts Vegas to shame, I tell you. It really does. They were everywhere. And as soon as I got my phone out, I was told to put it away. Um, but it was really busy in there. All the older people, I assume, for that um, Monday gift thing. Uh, but, you know, if you can go in there and you can eat your lunch at 11 99 or whatever it was you know, have a bit of a low roll gamble. I mean, you really see the difference between um, a, a real community-based casino. And I know, I've never really experienced one quite as much as that one. Uh, it was, yeah, quite something actually. Anyway, so we're now heading to uh, the final one, which I think is down here somewhere. It looks like it might be that. Emerald Island, here he is, yeah. This is clearly the biggest one. Actually, it looks pretty cool from the outside. So let's see if I can show you a little bit of the inside of that. 
Um, oh, by the way, I lost a hundred in uh, the Rainbow Club uh, on a Ultimate Firelink game. Maybe I should have stuck with the old school games. Huh? So I'm basically 40 bucks up going into the final property. So can we maintain our edge? Let's see. And it's something you don't see every day. They've got a whole load of slot terminals, like loads of them, just outside the property. How <laughs> strange is that? I mean, they can't move these, well, they don't look like they're doing anything. It's all a bit strange. Yeah, they must be having a change around today, I guess. That's some work to move all them and get them all back in the same day. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Slightly themed. Looks pretty cool. Let's give it a go. Well, I decided to play this alien game. So I've played, I play, used to play this downtown an awful lot. I didn't get a bonus, but look at this for a line of, that's the best symbol. All up there for a hundred bucks and ninety. That's incredible, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, hadn't, I didn't even play it for a little bit. That puts me back to, yeah, 187.50. That's a great screen. Now this game is really good, actually the bonus is decent. I will go on a little bit to see if I can get the bonus and show you. But this game is really popular in, when the, when the sort of video screens first came out, 20 years ago or so. Amazing here. So I cashed out at 150, didn't get the bonus, but I wanted to walk away a winner. So yeah, it's been uh, a winning, well, almost 100 bucks I've won. I couldn't film in there again. It's uh, hi hyper, hyper busy, these places. For, for a Monday afternoon, I'll tell you what, I've, I'll tell you, the downtown casinos and what have you could learn a, a thing or two about how you drive people into these places, because... I mean, they're heaving, and there's, there seems to be staff everywhere, literally everywhere. But the theming was basically the same as this outside here, inside. The bar area was a bit like this. Um, but compact, loads of old people <laughs> gambling their pensions away, I'm guessing. Um, this, this bit here is where they're redoing it, which is why the slots are all out the front. So, yes, that's, uh, that's my little trip to uh, downtown Henderson. I'm going to get an Uber back to... Uh, downtown Vegas now uh, and we'll have a night I don't know where I'm going to go tonight but um, let's see if we can keep this run going because we're doing pretty well 100 here 400 uh, back at Plaza so we're 500 up today so far uh, so it's all going incredibly well see you back in Vegas ok so I'm uh, fully refreshed after a late afternoon nap following my thoroughly enjoyable visit to Henderson. It was great going down there, it really was. It's about uh, 28 bucks in an Uber from the strip, sorry, from downtown. But it's always good just to go off the beaten trail occasionally, you know. So basically tonight, um, I've got some, uh, obviously gonna be a lot of solo gambling happening. Uh, but to start with, I'm meeting Julian from Vegas Confessions and Bobby G in the Sand Dollar in the Plaza, which is a new bar that has opened since I was last here in April. So I've, I really wanted to check it out. And it's got a pool table, apparently. I, I really fancy playing some pool. So uh, we're gonna have a few beers and play a bit of pool before I get uh, started with the gambling tonight. And it's just up here on the left. So I'll quickly show you the entrance before we go in. I've got about uh, 800 bucks on me. So I'm still up that um, 500. Uh, so I put a bit back in the safe and I've got 800 on me to gamble this evening. So here is the sand dollar in downtown Vegas. I'll show you the inside shortly. So we're in the sand, Donna. I do love the uh, neon in here. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas there. We've got uh, pool tables as well. Here's Bobby G. Hola, que pasó? 
and Julian from Vegas of Confessions podcast. Uh, it's a real cool uh, bar, this one. It really is. Uh, they could do a mean pills and a lager as well. Um, and they've got a great live band on. So I thoroughly recommend this for a downtown visit. There you go, that's the stage. So yeah, it's a really, uh, really cool bar. Um, I'm beating Bobby at pool slightly, but he's getting into his rhythm now. Look, you can see, you can see it. He, he beat me the last game, and now he's he's, uh, he's hustling. <laughs> So after the sand dollar, which was uh, superb, we're on coin combo. Uh, just doing 264 about at one cent denomination. Uh, the blue pot closed. I was going for the green one, really. Uh, but anyway, whatever, I'll take either. And actually, this is the first hundred, and I got two lots of $64 line hits, which kept me topped up, so I was never in danger of losing my initial investment. So let's hope we can get something and absolutely close that damn red pot. Here we go. That's a nice one, 13.20. Nice yeah, I basically had two screens. Oh, there we go. It's closed. I had two screens on the base game with only two of these without horses on, which is pretty nice. Here we go, right. And we need to change that mini. I think it goes to 45 if you get two of the... Come on, we need to find it. Come on, one more to upgrade. One more to upgrade. Yes, excellent. So that should be 45, yeah. One of these days I'll win something other than the minor on this game, but probably not today. <laughs> there you go. Instant 45, but that's good. Happy with that. It's a coin show at 45, but okay, right. So, four free games remain. Already a reasonable bonus at 264. Nice, next free game. Two left. Can we get over the hundred mark? That'd be nice. I always like it with coin combo when you get the bonus and you're you haven't really chased it. I mean, it's, it's unusual, but it does happen. <laughs> oh, two extra free games. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I think we get over a hundred here for sure. There you go, hundred and eight. 109.62, that's very good. I'm liking that. So the winning continues. Today's been um, one of those sort of, that's, that's what I was going for. I mean, you'd think it would close. I'm not gonna chase it on its own though. Um, but today's been one of those gambling days where, I don't know, I can't really put a foot wrong at the moment. <laughs> I was uh, obviously 100 up from Henderson, 400 up from the, uh, the not the Starbucks run, the free play run. And now 138. I mean, there's still time for it to go wrong, of course. The more beers I drink, particularly, but for now, superb. So I decided to have a go on this lightning link because of the thousand major again, as usual. Got the feature. 250 bet, 10 cent denomination. Here we go. It'd be awesome to win another one. This thousand's been sitting here since I arrived. Oh, excellent. 100. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. This is the ticket I took out of the uh, coin combo game. 12.50, nice. Come on, final spin. Keep me in it. Keep me in it. Nice. Yes. 
<laughs> We're looking at 15,639. Just once in my life. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's a cracking bonus though. Very, very good. I can't complain at 152 of a 250 bet in any language. That's, uh, so again, first 100, 370 this evening. Let's keep riding the wave until it crashes, huh? First offer. 30 credits. So double top dollar. Got down to 247 from where you last saw me on Tiki Fire. This is a three dollar bet rather than a two, the normal two here at the plaza. Here we go. Come on. Second Give me a nice one. Fifteen credits. No, thank you. Third offer. Thirty credits. God no. Come on. Final offer. Do it. Okay. Five well. credits. Boy, you're a winner. Not too bad. Still, still holding our own, we're 1-8-2 ahead this evening. So I'm going to try this uh, All Aboard, which I really do like this game actually. It's probably the one Konami game that is on a level with all the other games, I do think that. So uh, that's the ticket from Double Top Dollar. Going down a little, but uh, you know, we need a bit of a top up I guess. So 10 cent denomination, 250. Here we go. But you know what happens in this game, you can keep doubling up, which is very exciting. So 23 to start with. Next one doubles up the lot. Here we go. Yes. I would really, honestly, thoroughly recommend this game. I just think it's, it does give you, uh, I don't know, it's got a huge potential. Yes, yes. That's two, okay, I mean, it, I mean, there's two lots of 2250 there alone. That's 99 bucks. Oh, actually, no, sorry, you only get one. Oh, that's interesting. Or did I get both? I didn't see that. Did it do both there or just one? Uh, I have to watch it back. Anyway, here we go. Come on, give me one more. One more, one more. It would be awesome. Yeah, I think it's done with me. Come on, one more. No, done with me. Okay, well, 99 is decent though. I do like this game very much. Uh, if you remember the retro series last time in uh, April, I did incredibly well in it in Downtown Grand. And I am going to visit Downtown Grand. Uh, basically, tomorrow is reserved for a full-on uh, Fremont casino crawl with 100 bucks in every casino on Fremont. <laughs> oh dear, it could get messy. It's my final day tomorrow, so you might as well um, sort of celebrate it with something significant. Anyway, we're back up to 316.50. All looking pretty good. So I'm leaving Plaza with 250 bucks. And I know uh, last time I did this, and I left the coins in the, the coin meter thing. 250.89. Uh, I'm gonna take them because it, it, it caused some of you a lot of stress <laughs> that I dare leave US coins uh, unwanted. So there you go. I'm taking them with me. I just fancy going to um, Main Street actually for a bit of homebrew and some uh, $2 Wheel of Fortune. So down to Main Street we go. I might hit Circa on the way back, but if I don't hit Circa, uh, tonight I am 100% doing it tomorrow. I really really want to <laughs> Break my duck and actually I've been in contact with uh, Richard um, this trip I mean he, uh, he actually blessed me. He, he messaged me and said oh why aren't you staying with me this trip and I I was honest I said look Richard I've, I've really tried to play in there and get comps, but I'm not getting any comps and I don't want to keep asking you for rooms It's embarrassing. You know, it's like I want to sort of qualify for them 
you know, naturally rather than just expect you to comp it all the time. But, you know, he said, look, whenever you want two nights here, it's here. And, you know, he's a top, top guy, Richard. He really is. So I, I will be coming back in August for two nights with Suzanne. Um, uh, I mean, I can't say enough positive things about Richard, honestly. One of the nicest people I've met with the whole Vegas YouTube thing. I just need to win in his fabulous, fabulous property. Look at that. So down to Main Street, we go. And as we head down to Main Street, I just wanted to uh, share with you once again something I mentioned in a vlog a few years ago, so some of you may not have remembered it, but uh, when I was in my stressful banking job, uh, I used to, at stressful moments, as a, a, a kind of sort of, you know, trying to cope with the situation, I used to close my eyes and dream of the neons of California. And it sort of got me through it was almost like you'll see it again soon um, and I'll never forget that whenever I see those neons it reminds me of my sort of stress busting uh, mechanism or stress coping mechanism I should say uh, of just looking at that and thinking you'll be wandering down in you know 40 degree heat at 10 o'clock at night or 30 degree heat at 10 o'clock at night um, soon enough and now I'm here walking at 30 degree heat at uh, a lot later than that uh, I don't have the stress but I will never forget when I did that's all that needs to be said never forget never never forget life's a struggle sometimes but if you stick with it it works out so we got the spin in uh, Main Street I've lost 200 since I've been in here chasing a 1100 Blazing Sevens <laughs> jackpot. Well, you know, if you've won one, you would, wouldn't you? So we're now down 50, and then the third hundred, I'm down 50. So I'm down 100 tonight, uh, minus whatever this is. Here we go. Come on, give me a decent one, come on. Okay, 40. 100 would have been better or a thousand, but I love these machines, I really do. Two bucks a press, that's what it's all about. So on the spin again, down to 76. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be 30. <laughs> We're going down, not up. Not a good sign. <laughs> okay, so I moved uh, from this one to this one. Before I am finally going home. And I'm genuinely tired, so it, it will happen. <laughs> Do we have the spin again? Here we go. 500, no, sorry. You can always tell. Thank you for playing Wheel of Fortune. So a cracking day again yesterday. I absolutely love going down to downtown Henderson. Um, it's just really good to see, uh, getting away from the sort of touristy aspect of Vegas and going to see like a really uh, community-based sort of area. Um, and it really makes you also realize just how ingrained in American society uh, casinos are. I mean, obviously the states that don't have them, not, but everywhere that does, it does seem almost like a, some people a day-to-day -day experience which is incredible really uh, I mean in the UK I would say the rise of the UK casino is probably on the back of the rise of people going to Vegas and they want the same experience at home uh, so it is, it is very interesting I find the whole thing um, intriguing really um, but uh, gambling wise yes I did really really well obviously got 400 off the free play at Plaza incredible stuff yes I know it was Dragon Link but you know this is why we play it you know it <laughs> what could you say 
I make no excuses for that. Um, and then obviously won 100 in Henderson, and then I was up all night until I went to Main Street. Uh, started uh, chasing slightly, well, 200 bucks. Um, the Blazing Sevens at 1100. That was, uh, I mean, the lightning doesn't really strike twice, does it? Um, and I ended up losing there, uh, I think it was 100 for the evening. So I was basically up 400 for the day. So pretty good, really, all round. Uh, Sand Dollar as well, by the way, I, I think that's a fantastic bar. Really, really good addition to downtown Vegas. Um, great neons, great music, great band on. Uh, fantastic bar, great pills in the lager. Uh, but don't have, they've got a machine in the corner. <laughs> that does uh, various beers and you can press for a mystery beer. I mean, it's a bit like a mystery pick on um, dancing drums. I did the mystery beer and it was basically a chocolate and coffee beer. I, I mean, I almost vomited on the spot. It, it was the most disgusting alcoholic drink I have ever tasted. But it could be beaten today because I am doing a downtown casino crawl, 12 casinos, 1,200 bucks, 100 in each, 12 Budweiser's, plus a Caesar in Var Canada at the D um, in honour of Mark Anderson. So that's the plan for today. Uh, whether it will be one or two vlogs, I don't know. Um, the rules are the same as it was for the uh, MGM slot challenge in as much as I'm putting 100 through a, I don't know, 2 250 a bet and we play through until we either lose it or get a bonus. Whatever that bonus is, we take it. Which game and which hotel will be the luckiest? Tune in tomorrow. Take care.